I'll be preaching from our second lesson today, that is Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. If you get nothing else from this sermon, please get this. The only way to glory is through the cross. The only way to glory is through the cross. Broadly speaking, there are two different stories out there in the world that we tell about ourselves. The first one is what Lutheran theologian Gerhard Ferdy, isn't that a great name, Gerhard Ferdy? Such a good Lutheran name. It's what Ferdy calls the glory story. It goes something like this, we came from glory and are on our way to glory. Of course, along the way, some mess happened, some mistake, some kind of disaster. But through the right kind and the right amount of effort, we can return to glory. This is a really common story that we tell ourselves in our world. Every time we say to addicts, all it takes is the willpower to quit, we're kind of falling into the glory story. And whenever we look at a person and say, well, why can't you just be better? We're kind of falling into the glory story. Both former President Trump and President Biden's uh, Make America Great Again or Build Back Better, these are both versions of this story. Through the right amount of their kind of effort, we can return to glory. And, of course, whenever we look at ourselves and we say, I can fix this thing in myself with just the right amount of effort, we kind of fall into the glory story. There are lots of problems with this story. The first is that it's all about us and what we do. It's all about us and what we do. God features very little in this story because it's all about our efforts, the things that we accomplish, the things that we try at doing. And because it's all about our efforts, it's all about our effort, it's our own efforts that make the difference. And that's a lie. No other way to put it. Because the truth is that the addict breaking free of addiction is not just a matter of willpower. That the problem you face is not just a matter of you trying harder. Despite all our best efforts, we still find ourselves kind of caught in a mess. And so the glory story ends up inducing despair in us. We despair because no matter how hard we try, we are still addicts. And no matter how hard we try, we still face the mess that we are in. And because we're caught in that mess, where that leads is we begin to blame others. It must be those people over there that are preventing us from returning to glory. We should blame them, whoever them is for you. So that's the first story, the glory story. The other story is far less popular, and it's one that's told far less, but it is the story that scripture tells us about ourselves. And it is the story of the cross. We find it expressed nowhere better than in Philippians. Notice the words Paul uses when he's describing Jesus and the cross and how we are to act. How Christ emptied himself, takes on the form of a slave, do nothing of selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Paul says, let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. The story that we tell about ourselves as Christians should be the story of the cross. And the beautiful, the wonderful thing about this story is that there is nothing to be earned and there is no one to blame because Jesus Christ died and we with him. We should put that on the sign. Come die here 
at RELC. Get all sorts of visitors. <laughs> Doesn't sound as good as the glory story, but I think it's better in the end. It's far better. And it's better because it doesn't induce despair in us. Instead of saying you have to try harder, instead of saying you have to be better, instead of saying you have to solve the problem on your own, instead what we find is that Jesus Christ has died and entered suffering and entered death. And what we find is that all that, we need, all that we need has been done already because of this God who dies on the cross and calls us to die with him. Now this story is honest, the cross story. It is honest about ourselves. We will die. I'm sorry to tell you all that. You're going to die. From dust you were created and to dust you shall return. We say it every Ash Wednesday. We are honest about ourselves. The cross is honest, brutally honest even, about ourselves. We are in a mess, and we can't free ourselves. And yet, this story is the only story where we find new life because it says to us, you don't just have to try harder. You don't just have to to put more effort into something. It's not a matter of willpower. It's a matter of trusting that Jesus Christ has saved you and will save you again and always saves you. So which story are you telling about yourself? Telling the story of glory? The story where you were on your way to glory and... You just got a little sidetracked along the way, but through a little effort, you can get back there. I'll warn you, you probably can't. Sorry to ruin it for you. It's not just a matter of effort, and it's not just a matter of trying harder, and it's not just a matter of doing the right thing. Instead, what we should be telling ourselves, and everybody around us, we should be telling the story of the cross. The story of a God who empties himself. The story of a God who takes on the form of a slave. The story of a God who takes on suffering. And yes, even suffering to the point of death. The story of a God who calls us to die with him. To enter death itself. To give up on all our efforts to just try a little bit harder and to trust that God has already saved us. Amen. <laughs>